All right, guys, here we go. First set of video notes for today. You do have two sets. We're going to be starting with the um, coordinate planes graphing. So first thing I want you to know is that this is quadrant one. And then we go counterclockwise, quadrant two, quadrant three, and quadrant four. And they are written in Roman numerals. Okay. Second thing, this line here is your y-axis. This line here is your x-axis. And this little circle right here where we have the crosshairs, that's going to be your origin. Okay. Then, if we're looking down here for ordered pairs, x always goes first and that's our left to right. y always goes second, that's our up to down. This side's always negative, this side's positive. This side's positive, this side's negative. Okay, then we're going to put some examples up here. Okay, so for 1, we're going to go left to right first, and 4 positive is this way, and a positive 1 is up, so that is going to be point A. Okay, then we're going to go to point B, which is negative 6. So it's to the left. Negative 3 is down. 1, 2, 3. That's our point B. We go over to C. It's negative 3, so that's to the left. Positive 2 is up. That's our C. And we go to D, which is positive 6 negative 3, so we go down. E is positive 8 and then a 0, which means we sit right there on the line. Okay, there's our E. And then for F, we have a 0, which means we sit right here and then we go up 8. And that's our F. Okay? These are the first pieces notes. Then we're gonna go to this page. Okay, so we just learned how to actually not really learned, we relearned how to use our coordinate plane. Now we're gonna do how to graph shapes in that coordinate plane. Okay, so this one we're gonna start with shape A. And it says that our first point is one six, so over one up six over 1, up 4, over 5, up 4, over 5, up 6. Then we can connect our dots. And it says we have to label everything, and this is shape A, so I'm going to put an A right in the middle of my box. Okay. Now to get length on this one, we just count how many over we go, which is 1, 2, 3, 4. Our width is how many boxes down, which is two. Perimeter is how many all the way around. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And the area is how many whole boxes we have in the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Now we go to shape B. Positive two, negative two. Positive 3, negative 2. Positive 2, negative 3. Positive 3, negative 3. So that is shape B. We know our length is 1, our width is 1, our perimeter all the way around is 4, our area is 1. Now you notice this times this equals this. This times this equals that. Okay? So you don't actually have to go in and count all the boxes if you don't want to. For shape C, negative 5, positive 3, negative 5, negative, oops, sorry, negative 2 is down here. Positive 2, negative 2. It shares a corner with B. Okay? So right now I've got three dots it wants us to determine the fourth point. So I'm going to connect the dots I have. 
this one to there, and this one to there. So what we have to do is figure out where our points are going to meet. So if we start going up on this one, and I'm going up slowly so I can see when I get to that point. Oh, I think I'm there, so I'm going to start going over this way. This is where they meet, so I'm going to look at my points and say, okay, it's 2 for my x-axis, up 3 for my y-axis, so my point is 2, 3. My length is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. My width is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now my perimeter, you can go and count all the way around, or you can do 7 plus 7, which is my length, plus 5 plus 5 for my width. My perimeter is going to be 24. My area, I can count all the little boxes, or I can just do 7 times 5 to get an area of 35, and then i got to make sure that I label my box. Okay, So this is shape C. Going on to the back. It says graph the points given, then determine two other points that could create the perimeter area or shape that it wants you to make. Label your answers. So we're going to start with shape D, where it says to go 5, 7. So over 5, up 7 is my first point. Negative 1, positive 7, that's my second point. It wants a set of points that could create a rectangle. Now these can really go anywhere I want them to go. Okay, as long as I make a rectangle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, uh, I want to drop two here. Now I have to figure out where I just put that point. So I went over five, up five. So that's going to be my first point over here. And then I need to make sure I meet up just like I did on the other side. If I dropped two here, I know I can drop two here. And I list that point as negative one, five. Connect my dots, label my shape D, and I determined that those two can make a rectangle, and that's what I wanted. So it's a draw your shape, that's what I did when I connected my dots. Determine your length and width, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 for my length, 1, 2 for my width, my perimeter, 6 plus 6 plus 2 plus 2 is 16. My area. Students, if you are here for track, <coughs> soccer, or anything after school, you are to report to the cafeteria for study session now. Report to the cafeteria. All right, then I come down here to shape E. And I know you're watching this video after spring break, apparently. I hope you figured out that I'm doing this before spring break. Shape E, we start off with negative 3, negative 2. There's my first dot. Negative 6, negative 2. There's my second dot. It says the perimeter of this shape is 10 units. Determine the other coordinate points to make a rectangle. Well, if my perimeter is 10, and I know right now I've got 1, 2, 3 for my length. And I know I have two of those, which gives me six. That means that my width is four. And I have two widths. I have to go on both sides. So four divided by two is going to give me two for the width of each side. So I know that I can go down two to get another point here. And then to plot my point, I go over negative 3, down negative 4. And my other point, I'm going to bring this one down to negative 6, negative 4. I'm going to connect these dots. This is shape E. But it wants a different choice as well. So I know that this one... And this one were my original dots. I can go up to instead. So one, two, one, two. And I can make this a box. Either one of those is going to give me a right answer. So this is also going to be labeled E. And if I did this two instead, 
then I have negative 3 left and I have a 0 or a negative 5 and a 0. Those are going to be my two points. Okay, last one is shape F. And find a good color. Shape F starts off at 6, 1 and 1, 1. The area is 30 units. Determine the other coordinate points to make a rectangle. Well, we know the area is length times width. And we know that our length is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have 5w equals 30, which means our w is 6. Our width has to be 6. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 down. I'm going to connect my dots. I'm going to label this shape F. And it wants to know what my other points were that I used to make this particular one. Well, for my first one, I went over 1, down negative 5. So I've got 1, negative 5. And then I went over 6, down negative 5. What's my other option? So again, these are my original points. Okay? So if I know my width still has to be 6, I can go up instead. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Connect those dots. This is also box F. And I read my points. I went over 1, up 7. So I've got 1, 7 here. Over 6, up 7. 6, 7. Oh, sorry, you couldn't even see that. 6, 7 for that one. Okay? Make sure that this and this paper that we just did, I want this on top of this one. Staple it together and fold it like this to glue it in your notebook. Logan.